these king penguins are having a well-deserved break in their pool after a busy couple of weeks doing their bit for science. Okay, perfect. Yes. Little, little. Here, you can see them being put through their paces. Their steps are being analysed by scientists in the UK and the US. We did a study on humans. Humans think a lot about how they walk. Where birds, it's more like reflexes. You can think of when they tap your knee at the doctors. And that's a lot easier to turn into electronics and sensors than the more complex human way of walking. You that the robots will start waddling. Just like in New York, Stacey's already built her own robotic penguins, and it's thought that the work being done could be used to design better walking aids for humans. A robotic penguin could be used to gather data from those in the wild who have been tagged by scientists. Currently, this needs to be tracked down by hand. Studies have shown that it stresses the penguins out to have these giant humans walking through their colonies. We're hoping that we can use a robotic penguin to collect that data, so then it'll reduce the stress response involved with getting that data that's crucial to their survival. And the wildlife park where the birds live in the Cotswolds has been happy to help. 14 out of 18 species are in big trouble in the wild right now. And a lot of them live in remote parts of the world where you can't easily get out there and study them. So anything we can do to help towards that is brilliant. Um, we, we have to help with studies and research projects as, as part of a zoo condition sort of thing. So, this is an easy thing for us to do with our King Penguins. Spike has been putting his best foot forward for the research. He's recently been voted the world's most popular penguin with thousands of followers on social media. Sounds like a very busy bird indeed.